Okay, we're going to revolve that purple area around the line y equals 5. That's this line right here. And we're going to use the shell method. It would be very difficult, if not impossible, to use the disk method because to solve for y in terms of x for this equation uh, would be very difficult, if not impossible. Okay, so if we're going to use the shell method, we want our typical shells to be parallel to the axis of revolution. So this is what we visualize as a typical shell. And we're going to revolve that rectangle about that axis of revolution. And we're going to do that for infinitely many shells along the y-axis from 0 to 4. So if we pick a typical y value in that interval, if we picture y sub i right here, the height of that shell is going to be in terms of y, y squared minus 1 fourth y cubed. Okay, so you do something to y to get this horizontal distance, an x-coordinate. <clears throat> so that's what this is right here, the height of the shell. The average radius from the axis of revolution to a typical center of a shell is 5 minus uh, this y-coordinate right here. So for each y, this is the value of y, but the height of the shell, or I'm sorry, the radius of the shell is top minus bottom, 5 minus y. So there's the average radius. dy we call the uh, width of, the, of a typical shell or typical rectangle. <clears throat> so to, to evaluate this, we would have to integrate from 0 to 4. We'd have to multiply these two binomials together find an antiderivative, evaluate from 0 to 4, and then multiply that result by 2 pi. And if you want an exact answer, there it is. Uh, and you can see that these two match. OK. Um, I will post a URL to the Desmos graph that allowed me to do this calculation. And you can take a look at what's happening there. There you go. Hope that helped. And if you have any questions, post a comment.